The Starship Bobular Quest carries the Bobo Bobs ever closer to the planet Earth. Hmm. Ooh, it's, ooh. Hmm. it's your turn to take the wheel, right, sure? <laughs> Morning, everybody. Morning, Captain Hooter. Say, where's Cornelius? Why isn't he here? Here I am, Captain. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Oh. Huh? What you got on your butt? Well, now that we're all here, dig in, everybody. I'm worried. Oh. Cornelius. Huh? What is it? Oh, no. Blip, why so glum? What's the matter? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, huh? Maybe he's tired of his special berries. Good, so am I. Let him eat what we do. It's not his berries. He's just worn out from playing yesterday. Yeah. Huh? Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's usually the first one up, but today I practically had to drag him out of his bunk, Captain. Maybe Doc Bone should have a look at him. Yes, an excellent idea. <laughs> oh. Blip, look who's come to visit you. Well, now, where does it hurt, Blip? Just show Doc and Mimi, and they'll fix it right up for you. Let's see. Oh. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Nothing. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Doc. Well, a little rest couldn't hurt. You might have a head cold coming on. Aha. Uh -huh. oh. Off to bed. But right now, he's fit as a fiddle. There, you just take it easy. We'll check up on you later. Well, I'm glad he's all right, but why does he look so down in the dumps? While Blip rests, Cornelius and Peter busily chart stars and constellations for the rest of the day. Hmm. Ah, make a note of these, Peter. All right. Let's see, Taurus, uh, Virgo, hmm. Aquarius, and uh, 
firebrand? Hey, that's the son of Bedelia, the planet Blip comes from. What? No, it's getting late and Blip's on my mind. I I'm seeing things. You never know. Maybe you should check the star charts. No, <laughs> no, it's ridiculous. Bedelia here. Oh. <sighs> I'm the one that needs the rest. And so, after a long day, Cornelius joins Blip for a good rest. We'll both wake up good as new. <sighs> but poor Blip isn't resting as peacefully as Cornelius thinks. with you lying on the floor outside my cabin, flopping around and moaning and groaning. Show some consideration. Petronella, keep it down. Cornelius? What's this all about, anyway? Yes, Cornelius, what's up? I have to talk to the captain. Huh? Why? Yes, yes. Why, Why, Cornelius? Cornelius? That's my business. Oh. oh. Huh? Galloping galaxies. What do you all want? Um, actually, I came to see you, or to talk to you. You are talking to me. I mean, in private. May I? Mm. Uh, can we just... Huh? To... Oh, you heard Cornelius in private, he said. Aww. As you know, there's something wrong with Blip. Well, he finally told me what it is. That's why I came. I spotted his home planet today. At first, I thought I was mistaken, but I realize now I wasn't. Oh, so that's it. Poor Blip is homesick then. Oh, it's much worse than that. He's been dreaming about his parents. Terrible nightmares. He thinks it's a sign. He's sure they're in danger, and he wants us to help them. Hmm. Well, Blip has saved the Bobulars' bacon more than once in the past. I think we owe it to him to go. Hooray! Ah! Huh? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and so Captain Hooter sets his star course for Blip's home planet of Bedelia. At top speed, it doesn't take the Bobular long to reach its wintry destination. Oh. Hoist the protective bubble! Hold her steady, helmsman! I, I'm trying, sir. I've never seen such a violent snowstorm. Blip oh. sure is glad to be home, isn't he, Cornelius? I'm really happy for him. Me too, little Bob, me too. I just hope he can find his parents in this blizzard. Oh, he's dying down. Easy, Blip, easy. We have to find a spot to moor the ship first. How about here, Captain? 
Yes, fine. Drop anchor. <coughs> I'll help Blip look for them. Good luck. Gangway! Oh. Wow. Hey, wow. what do you think? Whoa! <laughs> oh. oh, that felt good. I haven't gone to bargaining in a star's age. <laughs> huh? No. Oh. I've never seen a tree that looked like that before. No. Oh. Come on, come on. <laughs> Good thing I understand your language, Blip. I'll be able to talk to your parents. Uh -huh. Whee! Hurry! Blip, wait for me. I can't keep up to you. <gasps> oh. 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 oh, no. Everybody else is here, but... Oh. Where are my parents? <laughs> Guess who, Blip? Popsy? Blip, is it really you? Have you really come home to us? Oh, oh Popsy! Oh. <laughs> Blip, huh? come on! Hey, wait for me! Blip! <laughs> wait! Cornelius! Huh? Oh, I don't like the look of this. No! Oh, I knew it! I don't fit! <coughs> Flip! No! <laughs> Cut you Time I come, I'll go on a diet first. Oh, hi everybody. I'm Cornelius. <laughs> Cornelius, this is Popsy. We hi. grew up together. All my people live right here in this cave. It's so nice to be back. Oh, but where are Mom and Dad? Oh. <laughs> huh? What's wrong, Popsy? But why? Who are the Munchums? Oh, gigantic monsters who live in the mountains. They're huge. They come down to feed at the crater every night. They like our special berries, too. But why would they kidnap my parents, Popsy? The Munchums never bothered us before. A lot of the berries from last year's harvest were diseased. They poisoned quite a few of the Munchums. They think we've hidden a huge supply of good berries down here in our cave. But it's not true. We don't have any. Anyhow, that's why they kidnapped your mom and dad. They say unless we give them the berries, we'll never see your mother and father ever again. Oh, we don't know what to do, Blip. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> don't worry. We'll save them somehow. Desperate and weak with hunger, the normally friendly Munchums search for fresh supplies of healthy berries. But it's just a matter of time before it will be too late. <sighs> huh? Bitchum, this is no time to lie down on the job! <sighs> Look at this! Yeah, hurry up! We found some berries! Nice and plump and fresh! See? They're not poison or anything, Leonard! Oh, boy! <laughs> yeah! Gotcha! Oh. Delicious! Huh? huh? Come on, keep looking! Fly before. <laughs> Can't reach it, Leonard. Huh? Hey, look, it's on a vine. 
Go get him, Lenny! Captain, we got trouble. Someone's pulling on the anchor. Ah. Mm, let me at him. Those must be the troublemakers Blip dreamed about. <laughs> Einstein, up on the deck. Teach those bumbling, bobular robbers a lesson. <laughs> yum, yum. Come and get it, fellas! <laughs> <laughs> Hey, berries! Oh, boy! Oh! 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 delightful! Wow! Wow! Oh! Berries make Bobo Bob strong, but when others eat them, they, they don't, don't last, last long. long. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> now to make sure they don't cause any more trouble. Gather round, everyone. <laughs> right, Captain. Ah. Well, join hands, everybody. Come on. And use Bobo Lift power. Good, good. There. Now, Cornelius. Cornelius, mobile brain power message. We've captured four strange creatures. Wonderful. Cornelius, Blip, and Popsy are headed for the Munchum's lair to look for Blip's mom and dad. There it is! Oh, it's a steep climb down. Oh, we can just slide down, Cornelius. Huh? Come on! Whee! Whee! No, wait, I can't do it. No, this is my day for winter sports, I guess. <laughs> What do you know? That was fun. <laughs> Look, a rock. Oh, we won't let that keep us out. I'll use my powers. <laughs> Move, you big bothersome boulder. Oh. Scat, scram, shoo. Us in the nick of time, son. It's been so long since we've seen you, dear Blip. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. I was so worried. 
Is everyone okay? Yes! Oh, that's splendid. I'm just glad the Munchums found the ship before they found us. <laughs> <laughs> Later, back at the Bobular, the Bobo Bobs get ready to leave. But before they do, Ein and Stein prepare a huge batch of Blip's special berries to leave with his people. Hold it. Good. Made from Blip's favorite recipe. Yay! <laughs> there are enough here to last you till the next harvest. Yes. And Stein and I made you a potion that will cure your berry bushes of that disease they uh -huh. have. Oh. <laughs> but what about the munchums? Hmm. I know. We'll give them all the berries they need, too. There are plenty of berries for everyone. In fact, I'm sure it's safe to set them free right now. What do you think? You two, hold it right there! Oh, Oz? Hmm? Are you insane, Captain? Huh? Oh. You'd set kidnappers free? Hmm. Yes. First of all, they acted out of hunger, not malice. And second of all, they never caused trouble before. So let's give them one more chance. We'll set them free and see what they do. Yeah. Agreed? Yes. yes, right. Then let's join hands and lift the trans. Oh. Huh? Hey, berries. Lots of them. Gee, thanks, you guys. Yeah, it's really nice of you. <laughs> We're not going to starve after all. Yeah. Oops. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, sorry. We were mean. See, they're sorry now. Bye. Bye. Be good, fellas. That's <laughs> fine. They won't act up again. Mission accomplished. On we go, everyone. His parents safe and sound. Blip says his farewells. Oh, miss you, Popsy. You too, Blip. Mom. Dad, I'll come back soon. We'll, we'll be, be waiting, waiting Blip. Blip. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. I will, Dad. Oh, my little Blip, we're so proud of you. I'm proud of you, too. Wash behind your ears oh. and don't be a bother to the captain. I won't, Mom, I promise. I love you both so much. Oh, <laughs> we love you, too, sweetheart. <laughs> we'll be thinking of you, son. Oh, huh? goodbye. <laughs> Bye. We'll be here when you come home. <laughs> Lord Protective Bubble, resume Star Course. Next time, intrigue abounds as the Bobo Bob's crew must find a way to get Fritz out of the kitchen so Aunt Agatha can bake a cake. Cornelius thinks he's been forgotten on his 1,000th birthday, but in fact, his friends are planning the wildest wing ding the Bobular Quest has ever seen. Don't miss a birthday surprise. Next time on the Bobo Bob's. <laughs>